On to athletics now, and Peter Martin has been finding out about a novel way to get from Edinburgh to Glasgow. Running just over 45 miles from the east of Scotland to the west isn't exactly an ideal way to spend your free time on a cold Sunday morning in November. But the Bars Edinburgh to Glasgow road race is in its 58th year and is a popular blue ribbon event with the athletic clubs in Scotland. This year's competition features one team from England and 20 from Scotland for the eight-stage relay from Fettes College to Crown Point Stadium in Glasgow. On average, each team member will run six miles in each stage, so the preparation is vital. A personal best time today could be the difference between a first or second finish and the opportunity of lifting the famous silver trophy. The competitive edge is there, but the spirit of just taking part is evident as the early morning start approaches. Keeping with tradition, last year's winners will be presented with a special baton from the Lord Provost of Edinburgh, Eric Milligan, which contains a special greeting to his counterpart in Glasgow, Lord Provost Pat Lally. It seems a great length to go to save the price of a stamp, but Mizuno Racing Club captain Brian Kirkwood, wearing the number 18, will be hoping his team can live up to the billing of pre-race favourites. Mizuno have dominated the race for the last five years, albeit under different team names. It's exactly 10 o'clock, and the Lord Provost gets the race underway. Ready? On your mark, I'll shoot at three. One, two, three. Oh, no! The first stage of the race lasts five and a half miles and takes the runners out of the city towards the main Glasgow Road. Although a good time at the changeover point is vital, it will not be a clear indication of an eventual winner, as there's a long way to go. Team tactics will play a major part in the outcome. Already a 10 second gap has emerged as the two packs find their pace. Shettleston Harriers wearing 19, followed by Clydesdale Harriers and Kilbarkin, are the front runners. But it's early days as they approach the second stage and first changeover. The punishing schedule ahead will sort out the favourites and the pretenders to the throne. Mizuno's Peter Fleming had a 13 second lead at the beginning of stage 6, but the talent of Graham White hauled back the deficit to give his teammate Brian Scally the slenderest of leads over a former Olympic steeplechaser Tom Hanlon. The question now was could Scally, whose family have a long tradition of running for Shettleston, increase the gap? There was still a matter of third place, which also offered a financial reward, and Camber's lags Ian Reid had the initiative in the closing stages. Up ahead, Tom Hanlon's class was beginning to show, as the former Scottish cross-country champion opened up a 43-second lead over the Shettleston team. The eighth and final stage of six miles to Crown Point Stadium gave Glenn Stewart the chance to record the stage's fastest time of 27 minutes, 56 seconds. Stewart, the son of Lackey, a former Scottish Commonwealth 10,000 metres champion, increased the lead over John Mackay, and as he entered the final bend, a comfortable victory for the Mizuno team was secured. Their collective time for the day was 3 hours 42 minutes 40 seconds. John Mackay was a further 1 minute 46 seconds behind for the runner-up spot. While in third place, Irish international Paddock Keefe overturned a 2 minute deficit to snatch a vital placing for Hunter's Bog Trotters. Mizuno team manager Alan Robson seemed well pleased with the final outcome. Yes, it worked out okay in the end. Um, there were some moments earlier on that we had a little bit of doubt, but it always remembered that we had Peter Fleming, uh, Tom Hanlon and Glenn Stewart here on the, the, the last three legs, so 
that reassured us. Three strong finishers. Shettleston obviously realised that they had to try and push a gap and they tried at Runabout Stage 5 and 6. Yeah, I mean, all the way really from leg one, they, they knew they had to get a big gap. And, and when I, late, Stage 6 was so even with, with Peter Fleming and Graham White, tip for tat, that there was never a problem. And again, Glenn, it must be a great honour for you, the last leg yep. and uh, obviously building on the lead. Yes, well, last year I ran the last leg as well. I've only been with the club a couple of years, so that's two years in a row we've won it. Yeah, it's quite a good feeling. Getting stronger, uh, looking at the, the last three runners, you're getting stronger. Did you ever feel at any stage that were you looking behind? Not really, no. I felt that even if we were behind by about a minute, we would still win. I was still quite confident of taking that much out of Shettleson's last man. Mizuno Racing Club, a hard team to beat and well-deserved champions of the 1996 bars Edinburgh to Glasgow road race as the sun sets on the famous silver trophy for another year.